Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in your iMac computer. I have a late 2009 model i7 and I'm going to upgrade mine in this video with uh, with crucial two 4 gigabyte sticks. And what you're going to need is a screwdriver and then you're going to have to take your iMac, clean off your desk, take your iMac, lay down a towel or some kind of protection down there and lay down your iMac on its uh, screen there. And Below, on the bottom of your iMac, you're going to see this little port here with three, three screws that you're going to have to unscrew. Now what you're going to do is unscrew these three screws with your screwdriver. I used a uh, number one screwdriver. Um, this is a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm not sure what the exact size was, but it said number one on mine. So you're going to unscrew this uh, panel here on your iMac, and underneath you're going to see your memory here and you're gonna see these black tabs here and what you're gonna do is pull those out because they're folded underneath there and then you're gonna have to pull on these tabs and you're gonna have to pull kind of hard to unseed your uh, your memory and what I recommend is putting your finger in front of the memory so it doesn't pop out onto the floor and from everything I've read and heard and watched on YouTube is that you put these uh, if you're up adding memory to your iMac and keeping the ones that were originally in there is that you put the uh, ones that were originally in the iMac on the top uh, two slots there on each side so and what you want to do is keep that uh, tab you saw there's a little notch inside that memory you'll see here on the uh, uh, farthest to the right and you want to keep that farthest to the right not to the left so when you put it in so you put those to the top there and you're gonna have to kind of press kind of hard to get it seated in there and then you're gonna take your uh, new memory and you're going to put that in the bottom two slots there seated in there you see here we're getting that first new memory in there and I did kind of get a good deal on this memory it was from JNR Music sold through Amazon for $42.99 a stick, so that wasn't bad. So I added eight gigs of memory for $85.98, so not a bad price at all. And once you get those two new sticks in there in the bottom uh, slots there, you're gonna fold these uh, black tabs back underneath there, and then you are going to screw your uh, faceplate thing back on, and you will be all done once you have installed your new memory in your iMac, you're going to want to boot it up and check to make sure you've actually installed it correctly. And you do that by going up here to the Apple logo, clicking on About This Mac, and down here you should see Memory. And this should have changed from what you previously had to what you should have now as a total memory. See, so I've gone from 4 gigs of memory to 12 gigs of memory. And if this hasn't changed, you either have bad memory or you've installed it incorrectly and you're going to want to go back down and unscrew that tab and see if you have it in there correctly. Now I did some tests after I installed the new memory and it took my computer nine and a half seconds to uh, actually shut down and it took it 42 seconds to boot up which is faster than than it uh, took before so this adding memory does help especially when you're multitasking so um, if you like this video, click that like button down below. Also, subscribe if you like this video and you want to be notified of my other videos. Also, remember that the iDuel contest is still going on through March 15th. I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can sign up and be referred through me and help me uh, win the $10,000 grand prize. Because if I win that $10,000 grand prize, I will be giving away uh, some stuff on my YouTube channel. So, we'll catch you guys in the next video. 13 inch laptops, 10 16 gig Wi Fi iPads, and 20 16 gig iPod Touch fourth generations. And they're also giving away a grand prize of $10,000. Who doesn't want $10,000?